So I just wanted, I've been thinking back a little bit <clears throat> about my own talk. I did not rewatch it because I never rewatch my talks. I can't <laughs> stand it. But I thought back a little bit about my own talk. Uh, when I was preparing it, I felt uh, that I wanted to make it sort of more focused on a personal experience than on uh, the science, I guess. But in retrospect, I then felt that maybe I should have actually talked a little bit more about uh, the science itself and how um, the science also has evolved over the years uh, and I've gone through working in many different fields. So if I went, had to go back and redo this, probably I will try to do that, a little more of that. Uh, although probably I would also like to have a little bit more time to do that. So if I were to go back and had more time, I would probably spend a bit more time telling people specifically about the science. That's it. <laughs> So in particular, what I would like to highlight about the science is uh, uh, that I worked on a number of different topics and that, uh, uh, but they have a common theme and that uh, as a theorist, the common theme is often provided by the tools I've learned as a graduate student and the way of thinking that I acquired that was mostly informed really by my, my thesis advisor back when I was in graduate school. And, uh, um, and I guess the theme that underlies my, my research has really been non-equilibrium physics, systems out of equilibrium. Something that admittedly was not all that popular actually where I started, uh, but today has become a very popular field. And so I found myself suddenly uh, working on a popular topic when I instead I started out by working on something that nobody else was doing. And that's kind of a strange feeling, but uh, it has been uh, very rewarding as of lately. 